As a realtor in Austin, Texas, I built my real estate business using social media content, selling over $5 million in real estate as a new agent. The leads that come in from my content convert five to 10 times higher than my ads. The best thing is posting on social media is free. But now that I have more clients to serve, I started to automate my content creation process using AI. In fact, I am William's AI clone. He spent about seven minutes setting me up one time and now he just clicks a button and this video intro is created. So in this video, he is gonna show you exactly how to set up your AI clone step by step. Let's get started. All right, welcome back to the real person here to real William right here. So I'm gonna show you two ways to generate your AI digital twin using the platform Hagen. Hagen is one of the better video avatar platforms out there considering its price. Um, and its actual effect, actual generated content. I think this is one of the best platforms out there um, for what I want to do. I'm going to show you two ways to generate AI avatar. One way is using just an image. Another way is to use a video, a recorded video, uh, or using my webcam that actually has more hand gestures. So I'm going to show you the difference between the two right now. So this is the first video. This video is generated using just a selfie, a studio shot. So this is an image from my studio. And then they generate this avatar of me talking. I'm going to show you the effect right now. We all know content is important to generate leads for our real estate business. In fact, social media is how I closed over $5 million a year in real estate transactions as a new agent. But between scripting videos. So I'm going to pause right here. You can see that this looks pretty decent. The mouth movements actually fit the words that I'm talking about. And remember, this is from just a steel image. It's very simple. Just upload an image of myself, of yourself in front of a camera uh, in, in the setting that you want to be in. And then you will make that um, so lip sync. You will make that uh, generate a video like this. But the only thing I noticed is that there isn't a lot of hand gestures when I'm, when I'm talking. And I think that having a little bit of hand gesture in your video avatar will make you seem more natural. So that is something uh, to consider, okay? So I'm going to show you the quality of the second um, video. So this intro right here for this video, I'm going to use this one right here. You can see that this is created using a video of myself talking about something completely different. Okay. I'm going to play it right now. As a realtor in Austin, Texas, I built my real estate business using social media content, selling over $5 million in real estate as a new agent. The leads that come in from my con so did you see that right there? You have like hand gestures down here. So you can actually sound like a, it looks very natural, right? It looks like a natural is part of my persona, part of my personality. And you can see the lip sync is done pretty well. A little bit of head bobbing here and there. So we can see that this is definitely more lifelike if I, uh, when I use the avatar created using a video. So right now I'm going to show you exactly how to set up these two avatars using uh using a, either an image or either a video. So come to the Hagen platform. By the way, you can sign up to my Hagen platform using the link down below. When you sign up, you get $15 in credits each. Um, and then you can generate one avatar for if you own the, the lowest price plan. Uh, you can also generate it, uh, a free video too uh, every single month using the avatar uh, when you sign up using the link down below. So now come to the Hagen platform and come here to the avatars. So you can see there are two avatars you're going to create new. One good thing about avatar is that the definition of avatar is basically a person, right? So for me, I'm going to generate the avatar of me, but I can generate different looks. I can have up to, I forget, like hundreds of looks or like 80 looks. So I have many, many looks of me, of myself. So I don't have to worry about creating different avatars uh, every each time. So I can have me in this uh, Under Armour, collar shirt, me in the denim shirt, me in the white shirt. These are all different looks of myself. And this one is video generated. But first we're going to see, we're going to click button right here, create new and you have the two options right here. You have to start from a video and start from a photo. Start from a photo is the most straightforward. Let's go over that real quick. So we're going to talk about start from a video and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to make sure your video avatar looks the best. Okay. So we're going to start from a photo, just upload a photo and then select a photo that you want to choose from. And here are some tips and tricks about the photos. You want to make sure it gets your face straight up off just yourself. A selfie, a side profile is good too. 
of you sitting from the side, looking at the camera, looking away from the camera, of you in a car, of you outside, right, of just yourself. But you don't want one with just partially your face. You don't want one. You don't want that's too old because you want to look the most realistic. When clients reach out, they want to see who you are, right? You don't want one from just another uh, profile. You don't want one that's a of you in a different color. You want one. You don't want one with a lot of people in it. So you just want one with just yourself. So we're gonna do that one. And then this is for the existing avatar. So it's gonna be under me, just a new look. Now that the photo is uploaded, you can see I have the orange background. I really like this one. This one is also an uploaded photo. In fact, this entire photo is uploaded um, using this AI generated image of myself. Okay, super cool. I'm going to show you how to create a video uh, using this avatar. But the first thing we got to do is actually we're going to come here, click this three dot right here and click add motion. This is what makes it look like I'm having a uh, natural motion talking or moving around with my hand gestures, right? We're going to say here, a clean is probably the better motion engines out there. And then let's take a look using um, what I'm talking here. Let's do compelling pitch. This is probably a good look. I, actually, let's just do talking naturally. This one is probably looking good. And just click right here, generate. By the way, if you want to learn how to generate AI, um, photo AI studio shots of your shot, AI headshot of yourself. You can get access to the full prompting guy in my free real estate AI society. You can go here at YouTube resource, and then I created a free guide on that. You can access, uh, using this link right here to actually use the prompt to create headshots, just like what you see here on the screen. All right. Now that this is generated, look at that, look at that video. So we're going to take a look at the motion. Welcome to the new era of video creation with HeyGen. Simply type your script to get started. Welcome to the new decent, era. Right? So it came, it went from this image, still image, into a added motion into this one. But you can see or you can hear a difference. The audio that this person used, this image used, doesn't sound like me at all because it makes sense. How can you generate audio from just an image, right? So that's why I recommend. When you're creating your avatar, you will have at least one audio and one video that you recorded using either a webcam or using uh, your phone, whatever it is, and create a motion, uh, create an avatar using that video before you start using the audio, uh, using the still image generated um, motion or AI avatar here. So now let's come into this guy right here and do a start from video option. Want to create an instant or lifestyle avatar? So this one, you can you can watch through the video. You know, it teaches you how to do that. Make sure that you have like some best practices where you stand straight, where you look straight into the camera, where you are not uh, you know bobbing around, etc. You have pauses between the way you speak. You can watch this little short video; it's pretty helpful. Um, but now the next thing we're gonna do is gonna do the footage. We're gonna click this button, enable gesture detection. Okay, this is what gives you that life like hand gesture. That's very important. So now the next thing we're going to do, come here. You can see there's an upload footage, record via webcam or record via phone. These are pretty decent ways um, of uploading or like recording. What I find is that uploading a footage for me created the best effect, the best um, AI avatar, quality avatar. But now let's take a look. I'm going to do this one, record via webcam. So we're going to turn on cam and mic. So now I'm going to do this record right here. So uh, I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to show you after I finish. But uh, the tip right here, number one, is that you want to make sure you have a good lighting condition. This lighting is OK. It's not the best. I don't have a, like a not lighting right there, lighting right there that hits me in the right spots. But the second one is that you want to make sure uh, you have a very good quality mic in front of you when you're recording an avatar. So I have my microphone right here. So this one is going to be the base of my AI avatar audio. Sometimes. Just give me another tip is that if you want to sound more social media like we're talking about vertical uh, video, a lot of that actually prefer just using the phone's natural microphone without any additional microphone. But right now, since I'm trying to do a more professional, more studio like setting, so I will use a better microphone to record this avatar. So I'm going to pause my video and then record this video and then show you what happens next. Oh, uh, before we do that, we're going to click record and then hit different styles you're going to talk about. So during the recording process, tip number one is that you want to pause between each phrases like this. The second one is that you want to make sure the hand gesture isn't too large like this. You don't want to go hand gesture over here where you're moving around like this. 
it, it creates a different effect, right? It just makes that avatar looks weird because you eventually will loop through that avatar. The, and then you might be talking about something depressing, but then your hinges is all the way up here. It doesn't match the way the content you talk about. So you want to create a natural uh, flow, natural motion when you're talking and recording a video. The third one is that you want to make sure that your eyes are staring into the camera at all time. This is going to be like a two to five minute video. So that means that if you have your eyes to the side or your head to the side, there might be a situation where the the AI generated AI avatar is you talking, but your eyes is looking to the side. So you want to make sure that one is avoided. Okay, and so this is gonna be take some practice, but uh, uh, you can also click the I need a script and then read it off screen. But that means that you're staring at the script instead of straight at the camera. So I like to just say click a um, talk about yourself or tell us about your hometown, which whatever. A uh, thing that you've been practicing or you have like a lot of experience talking about and click that and then do start recording. So I'm going to pause the video now and then actually create this avatar. All right, I just finished recording and then let's take a look at the video that I recorded. So my name is William. I am a real estate agent from Austin, Texas. You can see that I every time I speak a phrase, I will pause and make sure I close my mouth, my lip, so that it doesn't look awkward, okay? And from Austin, Texas. And I will try to smile when I'm recording this video avatar so that I look more approachable. And I think that's very important as a real estate agent to be approachable. I like going out hiking. I like doing comedy. And you can hear the audio. It sounds great because I'm using a pretty good mic right here. Okay. So now that we're going to do something, uh, we're going to say, do we want to keep the ambient sound? Uh, let's see. I personally like to do one with ambient sound because I can always remove the ambient sound in edit, but I can have a much more difficult time to add ambient sound into my recording after right I, when i'm editing so that's good 4k resolution this footage was not shot in 4k we'll see oh i need to be on a different plan i'm on the cheapest plan the 29 dollars a month plan so i don't want to uh, do the 4k one i think having 1080p is more than plenty so now the next thing we're going to do you can see also is the two minute video okay so that two minute uh is the minimum amount of time you need for the footage and then you can see some of the hand, -hand gestures that i made in the video right here, I'm going to pause. I'm going to mute the audio so you don't hear my awkward, uh, awkward script. It's off script type of talk. So you can see some, some hand gestures. I try to keep my upper body stable and my hands were never above my shoulder. That is always going to be between my shoulder, uh, between my chest and my lower um, body. So it's going to be like this. It's a pretty nice looking video. Okay, so now I'm going to click next. This is for, is this for an existing avatar? Yes, it's for my William main avatar. And then now this is going to review my footage and tell me how everything looks. And then you can see right here, you check a lot of, a lot of the checkpoints. Camera is stable, exactly. Maintain the same position in frame, mouth visible at all times. Strong background contrast, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Only one speaker, exactly. Quiet background, great. Brief pauses between sentences. I think I did a decent job, but obviously this machine detected that I could have done better. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna submit this one. I think I, I don't want to redo this one, but this, if you want to do a good one, you'd like to get most of this checked. All right, now it's being created. It's gonna take just a few minutes, a minute, and then I'm gonna show you the results. Uh, generated content or generated avatar. And while this thing is generated, this AI avatar is being generated, just another call. If you want to join my free real estate AI society, get access to all the resources that I showcase in my YouTube video, in my YouTube videos, you can access it here in the YouTube resources tab. It teaches you things like how to create real estate headshots, 
how to automate your content using Canva so you can create social media content, um, like images, like just listed, just sold, et cetera, those things, pretty simple, straightforward. And then you would also create, I'm working on a course to actually help you use and set up uh, this AI avatar and use that to create content automatically. So if you're interested, you can join my free AI in society and then and then you can get access to the course once once it's released. So uh, you can join using the link down below. It's very exciting. I'm excited to share about uh, uh, the all the learnings I've been using for using AI in my real estate business. All right, the avatar is generated. Let's take a look, take a first look together. Hey, William Zhang, your digital twin is ready. Try creating videos with it. Also, click the feedback button to share what you think. Hope you enjoy. You can see. Hola, William Sang, tu digital twin está listo. Intenta crear can, videos con él. Además, haz clic en el botón de. All right, stop talking. All right, so you, you can see that I use my voice to generate actually different languages in my tone and my voice, which is pretty impressive. Okay, we're gonna take a look at them. Hey, William Zhang, your digital twin is ready. Try creating videos with it. You think uh, William Sang to digit. Next thing we're going to do is that create with the AI studio. We're going to, we're not going to, I'm not going to go into detail in this video to show you how to create, um, actual videos from the, from my AI avatar, because I've done it in a previous video. You can take a look using the link down there. But if you're excited, if you're also interested in setting up your own AI avatar and learn more about how to use AI in your real estate business to grow it, to double it, to triple it, you can join my free AI real estate AI society down 